G'day guys and welcome to another episode of this Nathan Lyon career mode in Don Bradman Cricket 17 and in this one we're going to be continuing this match against India uh, currently India trailed by 94 runs they are 7 for 172 and look at Nathan Lyon 5 for 20 at the moment and that could possibly turn into 8 for 20 um, you just never know uh, but yeah I think we I think we had a bat last episode and things didn't really go to plan but you never know, we could have another bat this episode and hit a 50 or a 100. You just never know with this game. Um, but yeah, there's not much else to talk about. Hope you enjoy. And uh, if you do want to enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. And we are back. Uh, Rayudu on strike, 21 off 23 currently. And then Ravi Ashran at the non-striker's end. Let's hope we can get this done very swiftly. That's a nice shot there from Rayudu. Oh, there it is. Ravi Ashwin goes on the second delivery of this episode. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Great catch from Peter Neville. It's a bit unexpected. Um, it didn't quite sound like a proper edge, but I guess it was. There you go. India are 8 for 181, and uh, there's another wicket for us as well. That's now 6 for 20, and uh, whoa, what a game this is. What a bloody series it's been. I mean, the amount of wickets we've had is just crazy. Here's the replay. Yeah, pretty thick edge. Great catch, Neville. And, uh, yeah, let's move on. One more wicket left. Can we get it this delivery? No, we won't. But uh, let's have a look who got that wicket. Oops. Let's have a look. Um, Paddy Cummins, looks like it. Got Ishan Sharma out for one. And I think that's Cummins' first wicket. And he's been pretty expensive off 64 runs. So, at least he's got a wicket. But he hasn't uh, been too good today. Um, but, yeah. Let's get this bloke out quickly. And hopefully we can move on to the batting. Definitely out that one, way out, uh, way out of off. Oh, it's a nice shot, and I think it's another bloody four. They are running rampant over us, if I can spit it out, but uh, that takes Rayudu into the 40s. He's just hit two fours in a row. Um, but yeah, bloody hell, six for 37. Starting to turn out a bit expensive, but uh, six wickets, it's always bloody good, so it doesn't matter how many runs you can see. And that won't be another four, just a single. Oh, what a delivery! That is an absolute peach! Holy crap, let's have a look at that. That is insane. I've been so quiet for so long, and then that happened. That is just crazy. Look at this. Missed it completely. Just knocks the bowers off. That is pristine. One of the best wickets I've had in this series. And I'm always thinking about making a compilation of the best wickets in this series, because there has been some beauties, I'm telling you. And that's India's innings done. They finished 206 all out, and I think they finished 60 runs behind. So going to the second innings, we'll have a 60 run lead, and that's always helpful. Uh, but yeah, let's end to the batting. We'll simulate it quickly until we're in. That's if we're in, by the way. Uh, eventually, and we'll simulate. Right, David Warner, 61 out. C. Smith, 66. Usman Khawaja, nearly with a 50. Vojas, 78. I think it got out as well. So pretty high scores. And we currently lead them by 389. So well done to the batsman before us. And I'm just going to have a slog. Oh my god, he's dropped it. Oh, no, 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 get back. Oh my god, get back, Gaz. I went quiet because I thought I was gone. And eventually, it's just something happened. I'm just going to skip past that because that was very awkward. I have no idea what happened. And yeah, let's move on. Oh, good shot from Gaz. It could be a boundary too. I think it might be. There you go. What a shot from the number, I think, seven batsman. That's beautiful. Especially from a bowler. I mean, you wouldn't expect that. A nice, uh, nicely cut shot from Gaz, but I'll bloody take it. Well done to him. Let's keep him coming. There's another one. Oh, a bit wide that time. Will it be wide though? It won't be. Overhead, over shoulder height though. Another good shot from Gaz, and I think it's going to be another boundary. Jeez, this guy, Ishan Sharma, he's dishing out the short ones, isn't he? That's three in a row, and uh, that's what happens, bro. Stop giving me short ones, because that's, that's probably his favourite shot at the moment. Beautiful cut shot yet again, and he takes him to eight. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody hell. That's what happens, isn't it? <laughs> you get to be confident, and uh, of course, because it's Gaz... He's going to get out pretty easily and it doesn't take much. Little nick and he that, that that's it, basically. Uh, won't challenge him. Pretty certainly edged it. Uh, but Ishan Sharma 
bowled and caught Oja, the keeper, I'm pretty sure. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I'll take a couple of boundaries. At least we've contributed a little bit. Eight runs, that's all you need, though. Hopefully Hazel can come out and slog a few. And he's done all right, actually. 20-odd. That's pretty good for a uh, number nine bowler. bowler yeah. So, uh, yeah, straight back into it. And this is actually one of the first times for a long time that we've faced up against Coley. Because um, every all the bowls before me are getting, me, getting him out. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Give him another deuce for us, see how he takes it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> He's taken it pretty well, hasn't he? That's only four, luckily. Um, geez, you wouldn't expect that in a test, just uh, have a go like that. Um, but I guess that's Coley for you. Oh, he's had an airy Coley. Beautiful delivery from Gaz there. Hey, there it is, Shika Darwin. I'll see you later. That is a beautiful wicket and just the thinnest of edge, but we get it anyway. That's another great wicket for Gaz. That's his first of this innings. And let's quickly check out the replay. You wouldn't think he'd review it. It's pretty thick. And you no, know, he doesn't. Great catch from Neville. And uh, yeah, as I said, well, actually, no, we won't check out the replay because it didn't even show us the bloody replay. Karoo Nair comes in. Hopefully, he can uh, get out very quickly. That's a pretty good shot for a dot. And also, we won't finish there. That's a bloody wicked maiden. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Oh, what a delivery. Karoo Nair. He'd be getting very nervous if he's getting any more of those ones because they're deadly. The amount of turn he's getting on them, Gaz. And it's another great one. Two deliveries left in this one, and I reckon I'm going to finish the episode off uh, when this over finishes. So we'll just get these two done, and then we'll wrap it up. Oh, wait a second. Is he edged that? He's edged it. I did not hear a thing, but I'll bloody take it. What a way to end the episode, and we've still got one delivery left. That is a beauty to get Coley out. That must have been the thinnest of edges, because I didn't hear a thing in my uh, my hearing, if you know what I mean, like uh, my earphones. And must have been bloody edge. He would have felt it. He is gone. No review. Another great catch from Neville. Good reaction time. And that's a great way to finish the over off. But as I said, we have one left. Can we set up a potential hat-trick for next episode? You never know. No, we won't. It's probably a four. It's just going to roll along, and no, it won't be. Good way to finish it off. Just two runs, and, uh, yeah, another great over. Three off it and a wicket, and that's when we'll wrap it up. There you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, make sure to give it a like, and also subscribe to future content, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.